Okay, can you use your NanoVNA with clip leads? Uh, this can come in handy if you're doing prototyping and stuff and you don't have a, uh, a coax on it and stuff. Could you, could you just put clip leads on your NanoVNA? Well, let's give it a try. Uh, so we are going to set uh, up our conditions that we require. So I have it set to center of 8.828. So that's a strange frequency. Why do I have that? Well, that's because I'm going to be investigating this filter. Okay, so it's a homebrew filter uh, for uh, crystals and five um, capacitors. So I'm going to set up the span of uh, 16 kilohertz and I've, I've got my center frequency. So let's calibrate. So how do we calibrate with clip leads? All right, so let's, uh, let's zoom out a bit. And so I'm going to calibrate. So I'm going to say uh, back cal reset and calibrate. Okay, I want to do an open. Well, guess what? They're already open. So I'm going to hit open. That says short. So I'm going to take channel zero. Okay, channel zero is the one we need to short. And I'm going to put those two clip leads on each other. Okay, so now that now they're shorted. Let's say short. Oh, now I need to load. Here's a 50 ohm resistor. I'll use my 50 ohm resistor as a load. Clip that on there. Say load. Now we'll do isolation. I'm just going to click next. And a through. So through is I'm going to take these uh, clip leads and short them together. That shorts channel one and two together or zero and zero and one together. I'm going to clip the grounds together too, because it does seem to make a little bit of difference. So I'm going to clip those together. So everything is shorted out. I'm going to say through, done. I'm going to save that in number one, just for fun. Okay, uh, now we're calibrated. And so let's, uh, let's put the uh, two clip leads together. And uh, we should be on uh, the blue trace. So channel one, log mag. So this is a through measurement, and there's lots of videos that show you how to do that. But we're doing a through measurement, so everything here is zero dB, going all the way through. And if I open it up, it falls down here, so that's the noise level of the instrument. All right, so now we're gonna take our, our, our uh, crystal filter, and I will connect input and output, and I will connect the grounds and we shall see what we shall see. So there we go. We have a filter. So it's, it's, it's measuring great. So, um, you know, clip leads. Uh, now, you might get into a little bit of trouble if you're trying to measure uh, uh, return loss and things like that, but we can, uh, we can take a look at our calibration. We can say, uh, let's turn on the on the Smith chart. No, Smith charts too. Smith, let's, look, let's look at return loss. So the return loss of this filter is not, uh, it's not a 50 ohm filter, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna measure great. But if we take our 50 ohm resistor and check it, we're gonna put that onto, uh, onto channel zero, and we will check that. Return loss looks great. Uh, and then we can turn the uh, Smith chart back on, and we're here, right here at the center. So that calibration will work great. So no inductance, no capacitance, measures perfect. Um, and we're able to measure the filter. Now let me show you the filter, that's kind of cool. Because we're using clip leads, let's turn off trace zero. Because we're using clip leads, uh, we can do things like uh, look at the center of the filter. So let me draw you the filter that we have, just so you know what I'm doing. Okay, so what's this filter look like? Well, it looks like a capacitor, and we come into a crystal, and then we come into a crystal, and then we go into a crystal, and then we go into a crystal, and then there's a capacitor on the output, sorry and then there are capacitors to ground. So 
Did I draw that right? Oh, there's not this 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 capacitor that's not there. So there we go. So one, two, three, four, five capacitors and four filters, uh, four crystals, and uh, that's what the thing looks like. So let's go ahead. We right now we have our probe here, and we have our probe here, and we've connected to ground. Let's go ahead and look at the middle. Let's just let's just scan half of this filter. Okay. So I'm going to take my clip lead, and I'm going to move it here into the center of the center of the. Uh, uh, so that's what the center looks like. So we can see we have a little glitch there, so the uh, crystals aren't matched perfectly. There's one of those, one of those uh, crystals is a bit off. And then let me just swap it over here to the full filter so you can see it. And then back to the center. And then we can take a look at just one, one, so it looks a bit funny. We have a tiny little thing there. It's not doing a whole lot with just one. We're looking at uh, from here to here. Oh, I'm sorry, from here to here. That's where we're looking across, across those two points there. So don't be afraid to use your VNA with clip leads.